This Bitcoin mining facility in upstate New York, home to thousands of computers running nearly 24-7, is just five miles from Niagara Falls, near one of the largest sources of hydroelectricity in the U.S. At the facility, workers are attempting to build a more sustainable way to mine for Bitcoin, a process that has generated a lot of criticism for the amount of energy it consumes. Recent data estimates that globally, it consumes over 100 terawatt hours of electricity annually, or more than the country of Finland. In 2018, one study estimated that in less than 30 years, emissions from Bitcoin mining alone could push up global warming above 2 degrees Celsius. And recent crackdowns on cryptocurrencies in China are putting an even bigger spotlight on the environmental impact of the industry. You have this Bitcoin mining sector that is very hungry for innovation and technological solutions. Bitcoin miners around the world are making changes that they say will make the process more sustainable, both environmentally and financially. Here's a look at how this transformation is playing out. The facility in Niagara Falls is owned by BitDigital and BlockFusion, two crypto mining companies that are harnessing the power of water to cut down on their operations emissions. This place was founded as a coal factory to power a tire company. And uh, this was decommissioned and repurposed into a Bitcoin mining facility, not using fossil fuels, but instead using Niagara Falls and using that clean source of power to power this facility. Sam Tabar helps run BitDigital, a member of the Crypto Climate Accord, which aims to transition the crypto industry to net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2040. We intend to be 100% renewable way before then. We're about half renewables now, and just in the next few months, we'll be dramatically increasing that percentage. According to Tabar, this facility, which runs largely on renewable hydropower, is almost entirely carbon neutral. The process starts here at the Robert Moses Niagara Power Plant, where water from the Niagara River runs through 13 turbines to produce renewable electricity. This is then transported through high voltage transmission lines to Bit Digital's facility, where it powers a warehouse of mining machines. The computers use Bitcoin's proof of work method, which burns huge amounts of energy. This process is part of how the cryptocurrency builds its blockchain, which is key to keeping it decentralized and secure. Around the world, powerful computers work simultaneously to guess a complex sequence of numbers to validate a block of transactions. The miner whose computer gets there first is awarded Bitcoin. This transaction is recorded on the blockchain ledger, which is essentially a digital record book. While secure, proof of work needs large amounts of processing power simply because it requires all of the mining computers to work on the same puzzle. These math problems are very complicated and they'll only increase in difficulty as more and more miners come into the system. So there's no debate that it takes a lot of electricity. The debate is where that source of electricity comes from. The process to unlock new bitcoins also has limits. Right now, over 18.5 million bitcoins have been mined, out of a maximum 21 million. And the more miners that seek out those remaining coins, the more energy intensive the process becomes. This is what is driving concern over electricity consumption in the crypto industry. It is true that it is energy intensive. However, it's all about the sources of energy. If you use clean sources of energy, it's not a problem. If you're using dirty sources, that's a problem. While renewable sources of energy release less CO2 into the atmosphere than fossil fuels, experts say that hydropower facilities can still have harmful impacts on ecosystems and biodiversity. Bitcoin mining, both renewable and non-renewable, also generates electronic waste, an estimated 11.5 kilotons per year. BitDigital also runs a number of other operations that use renewables, such as this solar-powered mining site in Nebraska. Other Bitcoin miners in the U.S. are eyeing nuclear power, and countries like Iceland are home to operations using geothermal energy. Tabar says that along with his company's transition to renewables, BitDigital is ramping up operations in North America, partly a reaction to the recent regulatory crackdowns in China. For years, the company, like many other crypto miners, ran part of its business out of China. But just months ago, the country effectively banned Bitcoin mining, which has driven many in the industry to rapidly move operations to other countries like the US, Canada, and Kazakhstan. It's been a great thing for the United States because all this innovation in the power sector is happening as a result of this, of this ban. 
the focus on finding renewable sources of power and creating technological solutions to create further efficiencies. For Tabar, transitioning the crypto industry to renewable energy isn't just for the good of the environment. It also has financial benefits. I don't think investors are keen to invest in Bitcoin mining companies that are not looking at cleaner sources of power. That is not the right investment to make. We want to be profitable, but we don't want to destroy the earth while we're at it. While critics remain skeptical of the crypto industry's energy demands, the push for a more sustainable mining future continues to pick up steam.